A blessed day to each and everyone. My name is Doris Carpio from Verdon Christian Fellowship. So the title of our topic for today is how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. One of the best things that you can do in your life is to be filled with the Holy Spirit moment by moment. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is like you're getting closer and a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. And whatever you do is for the glory of God. That's why when you draw near to God, He will draw near to you so that it will be easy for you to experience the power hand of God. I believe the starting point of being filled with the Holy Spirit is love. And that is your heart directed through the mercy and kindness of God. As it is written in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2, Live a life filled with love. Following the example of Christ, He loved us and offered Himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. In order to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you have to priority Jesus Christ in your heart by understanding His teaching before reading any books for strengthening your faith. I believe the Holy Spirit directed us to love the salvation with joy and gladness. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is the opposite of the sins in this world. For example, if you planted more on spiritual things, this will help you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But if you planted anger and jealousy, this will reap you to become sorrowful. The good thing with the Holy Spirit, He is always active, especially if you are united with Him, even when the believers are united with Him in one accord. One of the good examples mentioned in the Bible that the believers were filled with the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, it says there is that, on the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty wind storm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then, when looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. It proves that the believers can be filled with the Holy Spirit by fully devoting on Jesus Christ, by fully following the instruction of Jesus Christ. And this is the very first time the experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit and the supernatural effect of being filled with the Holy Spirit. In my experience, I have to acknowledge that I really need God in order to be filled me with the Holy Spirit. I have to acknowledge that I am weak, but God is strong to be filled me with the Holy Spirit. And how to be filled with the Holy Spirit? What do you think? I believe worship is one of the key to be filled with the Holy Spirit as it is written in John chapter 4 verse 24 it says there that God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and is truth the truth is when you are doing spiritual things like worship this will help you to be filled with the Holy Spirit but when you are doing worldly things this will help you to be filled with sorrow. In reality, if you are thinking on eternal, this will help you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Your mind is always set on Jesus Christ, not only on eternal things, but also in eternal life. You will have full of confidence, fully equipped with all the weapon that you need in order to be ready for spiritual battle. This is not the battle that you will go on war, but spiritual battle against demonic spirits. 
So I hope this short message encouraged you. And don't forget to subscribe in this channel. Before we end up, always remember, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God.